Hello pilots and ground crew, welcome back to my channel again. Well, I uh, received an email from a lady called Michelle and she basically asked me to make one of my super simple explanation videos about parallel charging lipos and I thought oh shit because it's, it's not exactly something you can explain in a super simple way however after making three of these videos this is the third one and over there I've got a little list of how to explain things or to remind me uh, like a storyboard to remind me what to tell you because I think I figured, figured it out how to explain it super simple super basic for uh, Michelle the lovely lady Michelle right so parallel board charging why would you want a parallel board charge well starting off with oh this will be a long video so if you don't like long videos right forget it just go watch somewhere else okay but I'm keeping it it will be long because I'm trying to explain everything really simply Right, because she said she'd only been flying six months right, and she wants to move on to parallel charging which most people do right? why? I'll tell you why so what are the benefits of parallel charging your lipos? well just imagine you're charging one lipo at a time right? and let's just say you've got a daft decent charger and it takes half an hour to charge one lipo if you parallel charge your lipos as in say put four lipo batteries on your parallel board you can charge all four lipos in roughly the same time give or take a bit all right but roughly the same time depending on your charger all right so that's why it's a good idea to parallel charge <laughs> right then which board to use parallel board Personally, I, I'll leave a link in the description to this one. This is XT30s, and I'll also leave a link in the description to the same make but XT60s. Right? I like this board. Right? Yeah, you don't have to particularly buy this one, but you definitely want one with a fuse. So that if you've made a mistake, and I say you've made a mistake because these things are safe to use they are safe to use the only time when things go wrong is human error all right so if you've made a mistake there's a fuse there and the fuse will pop and hopefully none of your batteries will get damaged and to replace the fuse on these it's not just a pull in pull out which i happen to like this time all right, you take off the four screws on the back and the actual fuse has got two little blobs of solder on. All right, just unsolder it, put a new fuse on all right, and it's a generic fuse and you're off again. So yeah, so I really do like this board. There's million and one different types of boards out there. You get some with just a plain circuit board all right, with a bit of plastic on or a bit of rubber I should say. And I, I won't touch them with a 10 foot badge pole personally. I like a good solid case. Alright, so I'll leave a link in the description to this one for XT30s, and I'll also leave a link in the description to one for XT60s. Right, I'll cover this next bit really quick how to plug your batteries in, because some people will say, right, you connect this up to your charger, right. Uh, this is self-explanatory this bit you got your balance leader and your plug right you connect it up to your charger now when you're connecting your batteries onto the balance lead some people will say plug in all the uh, power like the xt 30s first then the balance lead some people will say the balance leads then the power some people want to this is how i do it and i have never had a problem this entire video about balance charging is how i do it I plug it in all the uh, balance leads first if I'm charging four batteries I'll plug in all four balance leads first then I'll plug in the power right that's the way I've always done it that's the way I'm always gonna do it and I've never had a problem okay right so there you go now that's how to plug a battery in that basic boring stuff 
Now there is, first of all I'm going to cover safety, right? in case human error you've made a mistake. Ideally you always want, you, if you're charging one battery, right, you might have it in a little LiPo bag, well you're not going to get a balance board and say four or five LiPos into a, into a uh, LiPo safety bag. So at the very minimum get yourself a fire blanket and sit them on the fire blanket and just fold the, the fire blanket over them at the very minimum just better safe than sorry <coughs> right. you can buy uh, lipo boxes to actually put your your batteries and everything inside a box right i'll, I'll tell you what i'll leave a link in the description to one i made right? i made a box right and when i'm balance charging or charging full stop i put my batteries i'll put a picture up I'll put my batteries inside this box, right, just in case something happens, right, because it's a fireproof box. And then that way, if something happens, shut the lid, right, carry the box outside, and there you go, your house hasn't burnt down. But I'll leave a link in the description to uh, how to make one, and uh, quite cheap if I remember rightly. So make sure you've got some sort of safety protection when you're balance charging. Okay then, how to balance charge? What are the rules? Well, there's not that many rules actually. You have to make sure your amps are correct and you have to make sure the voltage of your battery is correct. Okay, that is very important. So as he glances at his story belt again. So to start with, I'm going to show you how to set your amps on your charger depending on how many batteries you're using. All right? And remember, this is for somebody who's never balanced charged before, so they've got no idea. All right? So I'll show you how to do that. But first things first, I forgot to mention, and it's all down to safety again. Never mix your cells. Right. And what I mean by that is, on your balance board, if always charge the same cell lipo, as in all three cell lipos, or all four cell, or all five or six cell lipos, never put like a three cell lipo and a four cell lipo together. Right. Or you're going to have a fire. Once again, human error. So never, ever, under any circumstances whatsoever, mix your cells on your batteries. Always make sure all the batteries are got identical same cells. Can't stress that enough, right? Because that is super important. So don't forget it, all the same cells. Right, I forgot to mention that, so I wanted to come back to it because it is very important. Right, now, when you put your batteries on your balance charger, you have to change the amps on your actual charger your charging amp rate you have to change that on your charger okay so how do you do that let's go to the whiteboard okay then pilots well as you can see this is not a whiteboard me bloody marker pens bus so i'm doing it on the computer so it should still work out it might just be a little bit more awkward for me Right then, your amps, let's assume we are charging one 650 milliamp lipo. Okay, right, you would set your amps, put it underneath, you would set your amps at 0 0.6 amps to charge at 1C. In other words, the lowest point you can charge at for the battery. Or the battery's lowest point, safest point. Don't want to get technical on that. But, yeah, so you would set it at 0 0.6 amps to charge one 650 milliamp lipo. But you already knew that, right? Because you've already charged up a few batteries. And that's why people are wondering, or should I say Michelle is wondering about uh, parallel charging so let's assume now we want to charge up two 650 milliamp lipos now 
the 650 you double it you add it together you double it which makes 1300 okay and there's your amperage straight away there's your amperage with a decimal point here all right i'll tell you what i'll rewrite it out here so 3.3 amps all right because you just put in a decimal point there okay so it really is that simple so let's assume now you wanted to uh we'll just keep going a little bit won't go too far but let's say you wanted to charge up uh let's jump to f four light posts right 650 times four is 2600 so your amps Remember, any decimal point would be 2.6 amps. That's what you would set on your actual charger. Just your decimal point, 2.6 amps, because you've times it by 4 because you're using 4. And your amps are as simple as that. It, it isn't complicated at all to uh, work out your amps. Let's just jump to the extreme and say you're going to fill up your, your charging board, your parallel board so you put six lipos on it each lipo is 650 650 times six is 3900 so all you do here your decimal point which makes it 3.9 amp so that would be your charge rate 3.9 amp would be your charge rate for six 650 and that's all it is this is just a generic number you could have been using 1500 lipos right so, but i uh, just keeping it simple didn't want to make it confusing so i'm not going to go on to higher numbers and different lipos and stuff it really is that simple whatever lipo you start with right it doesn't matter what it is but whichever one you start with right just simply double it d add it together add it together add it together and that's how you work out what your amps are it, it is that simple it's not confusing it's not difficult at all okay then i'm going to leave it there because that really is a simple way of explaining it and it's the only way to explain it okay then that's what you'd set your amps to in your charger now back to the comfy chair and i'm back Right, uh, yeah, so that's your amps, when you're setting your amps, right, on your charger, it's quite straightforward, all it is, is adding, <laughs> adding, and if you can't add, just use a calculator, it's not a big deal, it's just add your numbers, and then you've got your, your amps setting, so that's really, really simple, your amps. Right, now, your voltage on your LiPo must well they must all be almost identical so you're gonna want a lipo checker of some description you'll probably already own one if you're watching this video for balance charging that means you're already flying so you're probably already charging at least one battery at a time so you'll already own some type of balance uh, lipo checker all right uh, you can use a multimeter if you want but you need to be able to check the voltage of each lipo because they all need to be within point, point 0.3 now I pause for a second there because some people right, say point 0.4 of a volt some people even say point 0.2 of a volt me I'm bang in the middle at point 0.3 of a volt and like I said earlier, this is the way I've always done it, right? And I've never had a problem, right? But some people say you can go up to 0.4, right? But all your battery voltages want to be within 0.3 of each other. Now, how do you work that out if you don't understand, right? So the easiest way to show you is to go back to the whiteboard. However just before then i'm going to tell you something you must learn this this is important about the voltage but there is a little trick actually there's a little trick to get round it all right so that when you do come to balance charge your batteries they're all identical same voltage before you even start 
However, I'll explain that in a minute, right? because first of all, I want you to understand how to work out your voltages, because it is very important to know. Okay then, back to uh, the white-ish board. Okay then, we're back at our special whiteboard again. <laughs> Right, the voltage is this time. This is something you need to learn, even though there's a, a simple little trick around it, which I'll show you later, but this is something you should learn. Now, remembering I go by 0.3 of an amp. Some people will go by 0.4, some people go by 0.2, as I've already said. This is how I do it, and this is the way I'm showing you. Right, let's assume we've got these four LiPos here. And we want to put them all on a parallel charging board. Oops. Alright. So this first one, we picked up our first LiPo battery. We've stuck it on our checker. And it reads 17.50 volts. Okay. The next one was 17.68, 17.87 and 18.00 volts. So how do you work out which ones you can put together? Well, it's quite simple actually. First thing you want to do is the second or the last digit, right? Just ignore it, right? Forget about it. This is the easiest way of doing it. This is the way I do it. Well, actually, I use the trick, but this is the easiest way of working it out. So you've got 17.5, and the next one's 17.6. Now, between 5 and 6, as we know, is 0 0.1, right? So that's within 0 0.3, right? So them two LiPos there, these two, we can put together on a parallel board. No problem, because they're within 0 0.3 of each other. And the next one, 0 0.8, starting with your original LiPo, which was 0 0.5, to point A is exactly three points. So we know them three are all within point three of each other. So all three of them can go on your parallel board. Now moving on to this last one here, right? Which is 18 point nothing, basically. So it's 1800. Now you can't use that one because 17.5 or to put it as another way, 17 and a half, right, needs another half, as in 50%, as in 5, to get to 18. So 5 points is past your point 3, which is your safety mark, your point 3, right, because, well, there's no because, that's it, I'm not even going to get technical because that is it. To get to 18, it would be 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0, 18, right? And that is five points past, right, your 0 0.3 safety, right? So these three I would put on a parallel charge board. That one I would put to one side, right, to see if there's any more or all the same voltage or out like that that I can put together or charge it separately. Right, now that's how you work out your volts. Okay, so they all want to be within 0.3 of each other. That's the way I do it, remember. Some people will vary, but that's the way I do it. So they all want to be within 0.3 of each other. Now, let's go back to the chair, and I will talk about that little trick I mentioned, so that you can actually parallel charge every single one of them all on the same board, all at the same time. Okay, but don't forget this rule. This rule is very important in case you forget to do the trick. Okay then, uh, back to the comfy chair. And once again, I'm back. So yeah, so hopefully you understood that. I uh, it's it's just the point six, the point eight, the point nine, whatever, right? I'm not going to go through it again, right, because you've just seen it, but it's pretty much straightforward. However, just before you watch that, I did tell you there's a little trick to get around all that, so you could basically ignore everything I've just said, apart from the voltage, because you want your voltages almost identical when parallel charging. But there is a cheat, 
well it's not a cheat it's uh, it's a trick so to speak a sneaky way of doing it what you want to do is well this is what I do right when I've been flying let's say I've been out with four batteries right I've been flying I've come back right the voltage is none of them are dead on level like they're all a little bit all over the place right so I plug every single one of my batteries into the balance the balance charger this is not to be plugged into your charger right your balance lead is not to be plugged into your charger this is to be completely taken off your charger right and I don't know put it on your kitchen table if you want but no no power going in there and no power going in there it's just the box by itself right and i plug my batteries into it and i leave them for take it takes about 20 minutes to 30 minutes it all depends right and what it does is it actually balances out all the voltages even the cells are to a degree but it'll balance out all the voltages of all the batteries so the next time the next day few days later whenever when you come to actually charge your batteries again all the voltages will be identical however that being said before you balance charge get your multimeter out get your lipo checker out whatever it is you're using and double check always double check just in case one of the batteries have got a problem and the voltage is running boom, right down for some strange reason so it's always best check double check and check again safety 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 we all know what can happen if one light pole bursts imagine if four or six bursts all at once all right safety 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 but yeah it's a great little trick it works perfectly just put all your light poles on your balance board and just leave them to one side for 20 minutes half an hour all right and they will to explain it simply for a new pilot all right if you imagine you've got one lipo with more juice in it will basically talk well not talk to but it will pass some of its juice to the next battery and then to the next and to the until all the batteries are dead level with a voltage and then that way the next time you come to charge them you plug everything in the way we said at the beginning charge your batteries and you're off after you've double checked them again with your multimeter or your lipo checker safety 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 right and there's only one last thing to cover during the charge whilst your lipos are charging up right about every 10 minutes i like to go over and just touch my batteries just touch them all right because they should only be at room temperature your batteries should not be getting hot if your batteries are getting hot or if just one of your batteries are getting hot turn your charger off get that battery the hell out of here there's something wrong with it all right and get rid of it all right dispose of it in a safe manner <laughs> all right don't just chuck it over your neighbor's garden unless you don't like your neighbor of course then do whatever you want no uh, dispose of it in a safe manner yeah just go around though while your batteries are charging and just touch them about every 10 minutes or so it's not you don't have to do this but it's something i like to do all right extra safety because as i just said your battery should stay at room temperature that should not get hot right well that is it then that's covered everything now uh yeah so if you're a new pilot or you're new to balance charging you should understand it now and you should be off and running now there is one more thing I want to mention to uh, disclaim, uh, to get rid of, disregard some rumours I've seen on YouTube. Uh, now if you're a new pilot, ignore everything I'm about to say, in fact you can turn off if you want because that's it, you've learnt balance charging and, that, and that's the end of the video for you. But uh, anybody who's stuck around who's thinking, oh what's he going to say, I have seen people mention when they're talking about balance charging they've said oh you can't mix the c rating if one battery is a 40c and another battery is an 80c 
right you can't put them together well actually yes you can it doesn't matter right and also right people say you can't mix milliamps if you've got say a 1300 milliamp and a 1500 milliamp right you can't put them on the same balance board well actually yes you can it's the cell count that's the important bit right you can't mix cells everything has to be four cell or everything has to be six cell well that's that's a must but if you've got one battery at 1300 and one battery at 1550 right you can put them together use your brain though you don't want to get a 5000 milliamp battery and a 500 milliamp battery and put them together <laughs> right that's not really good idea now I can just imagine quite a few people watching this and starting to type to call fuck out of me basically well before you do that alright because I know a lot of people will disagree with what I've just said right because there's a lot of people saying the opposite to what I've just mentioned so before you start to type to say I'm wrong and I'm full of shit that you can't mix batteries and you can't mix cell count and you can't uh, right, I'm going to leave a link in the description Right, to a Joshua Bardwell video he posted a while back agreeing with me right, well he's not actually agreeing with me in the video but he explains just like I have you can mix the voltages right? they're yeah, not the voltages you can mix the milliamps and it doesn't matter about the C rating stuff so before anyone calls it out on me Go watch the link to the Joshua Bardwell video agreeing with me, basically. Right? So, and it even puts at the end of that video, the next time somebody disagrees with you, send them to this video. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Alright then, now I will, I will say one more thing. If you're a new pilot and you're still watching, don't do that. Alright? As a new pilot, alright? If you're using 650 milliamp lipos, make sure all of them are 650. And also, for your very, very first time, you charge a battery on a balance board, only do two batteries for the first time. Don't whack all six batteries on for your first time, uh, in case you make a mistake, because you have to figure out the amps and you have to make sure about the voltages. Uh, so just do two, just balance charge two, just so you get it in your head, so you know what you're doing. Alright, and then if you're comfortable, then you can move on to more whenever you're ready. Okay then, pilots and ground crew, I'm going to leave it there. And uh, Michelle, you wanted it as simple as possible, I've tried to keep it as simple as I can. But uh, hopefully it was simple enough. Right, because I know there is some parts that people can get confused in like with the amps and the voltages but I've told you a trick about the voltages so uh, anyway that's the best I can do explaining it simply okay then pilots and ground crew thanks for watching hope this helps and uh, cheers <laughs>